everyone. Today we have another story about Jesus and sending the Holy Spirit. Our story today is about some of the very first Christians and they tried hard to follow Jesus and do the good things they'd seen him doing but it wasn't easy for them. And as more people began to join the group and to follow Jesus, the king became worried that they might cause trouble. At the start of the story today, Jesus' followers are upset. Their friend Peter has been arrested and thrown into prison. So let's open the book and see what the story is. In a house in the back street of Jerusalem, there was a little servant girl. Her name was Rhoda. She stretched out her arms and gave a big yawn. Oh, can you yawn like that? I'm so tired, but I can't go to bed yet, she complained. The house is full of people, all praying. And praying must be thirsty business because I've been fetching drinks for them all evening. Rhoda sat on the floor and to keep awake, she reminded herself why everybody was praying so earnestly in the next room. Poor Peter has been put into prison by wicked King Herod and all because he was a friend of Jesus. Everybody is praying that Peter will be released from prison. They want Peter to be set free. Oh, but I must stay awake. She yawned again and closed her eyes. On the other side of Jerusalem, in a dark dungeon. Peter was falling asleep too, but he wasn't very comfortable and neither were the guards he was chained to on either side of him. Every time Peter tried to stretch his arms, the guards complained. Oi, keep still you. Hey, we like some kit two quit wriggling sorry sorry i'll try to keep still the three men settled down to sleep and soon they were all snoring suddenly peter was awoken by a voice whispering in his ear psst peter wake up what who Peter looked up and he was dazzled by a bright light, but he couldn't see who was talking to him. Get up, Peter. Get up now. Peter stood up and his chains fell to the ground. He rubbed his wrist because they hurt from the chains. And he looked at the guards and they were still asleep. He was confused. And then the voice spoke to him again. Hurry up, Peter. Do up your belt and put on your sandals. Why? Where are we going? Just put on your cloak and come with me. Quickly now. Peter followed the voice and the bright light. The man, or was he an angel? was leading him through the dungeon, up some steps, through a door and out into the street. Peter shivered in the cold night air and he tried to speak. Thank you. Where? Then he looked all around him. The man, the angel, had disappeared. 
Peter wondered to himself. Is this a dream? No, no, it's cold out here and it's raining. I can feel the, I can feel the drips on my face. I know just what to do. I need to, I need to find shelter. I, I can't be here when the guards get here. I know. I'll go to John Mark. He can hide me for a while. So Peter set off quickly through the dark streets to his friend's house. When he got to the house, he knocked softly on the door. Rhoda woke up with a start. Oh! Oh! Oh, what's that? Someone's knocking. Who is it? She crept towards the door and called. Who's there? And Peter answered. It's me, Peter. Rhoda screamed. Ah! She was so shocked, she ran into the other room where everyone was praying. They looked up, surprised by all the fuss. Come quickly! She stammered. It's, it's knocking the door! Peter! Peter is here! Quick, come! Don't be silly, Rhoda. You must have been dreaming. But Rhoda insisted. No! I heard his voice! I know I did! Then they all listened. Shh. Can you hear a voice? It's me, Peter. And then they heard the knocking. It's me, Peter. They were all very scared. So they huddled together and crept slowly to the door. They opened it very carefully. I'm getting wet out here. Can I come in? They pulled Peter inside and made a great fuss of him. They wanted to know how he had escaped from prison. Rhoda listened to his story and laughed with all the others at his exciting escape. Then she hurried off to fetch Peter a nice hot drink. I'm so glad Peter is here with us and out of that miserable prison, she thought. Then she added, thank you God for listening to our prayers and answering them so quickly. So that was exciting story, wasn't it? And Jesus had taught his disciples and his friends those first Christians, that whenever they were in trouble, they could pray and the Holy Spirit would help them. And in today's story, that's exactly what happened. All his friends gathered and prayed while Peter was in prison. They must have been so excited when their prayers were answered and Peter came to join them in the house. So let's close our eyes for a moment and think about that story. Christians believe that praying is just talking to God. We also believe that God hears and answers our prayers. If you would like to pray today about something, I'm going to leave a quiet space now for the next few minutes and you can talk to God quietly inside your head about anything that's bothering you, about anything you want God to be involved in. Dear God, thank you for hearing our prayers today. Amen. Bye. Have fun. <laughs>